Welcome to Ruddy Duck Sailing Adventures. This week, the boys and Molly and I are taking 15, 16, and 17 foot boats on a weekend warrior style trip and meeting up with some friends in our favorite bay. It starts off with some light rain and decent wind. The conditions aren't enough to keep us off the water, so we set sail on a downwind course and sail as a group towards our destination. The new boat that we haven't sailed with yet is a 1971 Drifter 17. And this is only the second time he has sailed it and the first time single-handing and overnighting which is pretty impressive. The other boat that you may recognize from previous videos is a West White Potter 15. And of course, the Ruddy Duck is a 1970 Newport 16. We had a great time sailing in close proximity to each other and made it a few miles before the wind calmed down. This was the calm after the storm and the lake became quiet and peaceful. We weren't in any hurry to get to our destination, so we relaxed and soaked up all the beauty that was around us. The silence and serenity was just what we needed to escape the busyness and stress of the modern world. And it could be broken by only one thing, hungry teenage boys. No Pringles for you. Bye. Catch us, catch us, I'll throw them to you. No matter. <laughs> Boys. 
Yeah, we'll tie you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Found a little breeze out here. Yeah. Johnny, turn on his engine. Get For a little bit. Bottle. Yeah, he, he needed some Pringles, so oh, we passed cool. them to him. <laughs> We were sailing circles around these guys, and I would soon find out why. Between stealing Pringles, lounging around while downing sandwiches, rinsed down with copious amounts of sweet tea, there just wasn't any time to trim sails. I guess growing boys have their priorities. And the boys weren't the only ones with an affinity for Pringles. After tidying up sails, we bore witness to the slowest drag race in history. Later, more family and friends showed up, and the evening was spent playing in the woods playing card games, and chilling by the fire. We fell asleep to rain coming down on the boats. The next morning after coffee was a mad dash back to Scenic Bay to compete in the Sunday sailboat races. The younger boys would all crew on a Baltic 35 while Molly and I raced the Ruddy Duck. If you can consider something this relaxing, racing that is.
even though we finished dead last, we had a great time and it was a great way to end our weekend warrior trip. Thanks for joining us.